Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. This one's going to be all about your person, the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking about you? What are their intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Cancer watching. So let's jump right in for Cancer. Spirit Angel. What guidance, what messages do you have for Cancer Spirit? What do we need to know about the person Cancer is connecting with or thinking about at this time? Their thoughts, feelings towards Cancer. What is this person thinking, feeling when it comes to Cancer or this connection? What are they thinking or feeling? The Hangman, Death, Reverse, Scorpio Energy, Knight of Wands, Reverse. Oh my God, the Knight of Wands. No matter what deck I use, it keeps coming up for people. Bottom of the deck, the Hermit, Reverse, Virgo Energy, and then the Sun. So, Cancer. Hmm. Not sure what's going on, but I could tell you. Sorry, that's Henry in the background. But I could tell you that uh, action is not it. I feel like this person is this hangman at this time. They're thinking, reflecting, maybe seeing things differently. But with death reverse and knight of wands reverse, I feel like there's no endings or changes happening. There's no action happening. The knight of wands reverse tends to um, not really think things through before they act. And so things kind of backfire. So let's get some more insight. Can you tell me more about the energies regarding this person that Cancer is, has, or will be dealing with spirit? What do we need to know about the energies from this person? Moving forward, Cancer, my goodness, what is going on, man, with Cancers? Wedding bells, it's always the same message. Burning passion, what else? One more, please. This person's energies towards Cancer. Masculine, divine masculine, and fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with a fire sign. There's divine uh, feminine at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fire sign, someone with uh, fire in their chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But what I'm getting here is burning passion. Exactly this card right here. Um, motivation. Uh desire drive and it's from a divine masculine i feel or a divine masculine that wants to be with their divine feminine or vice versa now wedding bells is here so once again i feel like i don't know what's going on with my cancers <laughs> but uh there's a lot of like third party energy that ends up coming up in your readings on my channel at least Moving forward, this is exactly what I'm concerned about because if this is someone that needs to move forward, why is the hangman here? If this is, a, I have here the keywords movement, ending cycles. This is from my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. So movement, endings, cycles. Ending cycles right here would be with the death card, but the death card is reverse. So someone's very passionate, very uh, motivated, and yet they're a hangman, you know? So let's get a little bit more insight for Cancer. Tell us more. Tell us more about these energies here. Tell me about the hangman. Or Cancer. Why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman? Page of Pentacles. Why is the hangman here? Justice, Libra energy. Well, the Page of Pentacles is a very small opportunity, very small promise. Typically, it's one that you can count on. Yeah, the world. The lovers at the bottom of the deck, Gemini energy. I feel like this is what someone's picturing. This hangman is picturing all of these things. Justice, things being made right. Um, official decisions. Maybe this is somebody that's tied up in a legal situation or tied up in an official capacity. So for example, if there's an institution 
or a contract that needs to be signed or people they need to be meeting with in an official capacity. I feel like that's kind of a hold up. The world, again, cycles, endings and beginnings. So this, you know, it's almost like there is a delay or someone's waiting around. Why is death reverse? You could be dealing with someone that's already commit in a commitment or you are in a commitment and that of course will be a delay. So if you're sitting there saying, well, why is this still showing up? My question is, are you still, does the commitment still exist? That's why it's still showing up. Tell me about the death card reverse. Why is death reverse? A resistance to an ending or a change, death reverse. Page of Swords, Eight of Swords, maybe somebody feels tied up or just fearful here. Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords can't really see a way out. They're blindfolded. So they don't even know how to get out of this prison. The Page of Swords is here though. So it's almost like maybe this is somebody doing a little bit of investigating, communicating, networking, looking into things. Page of Wands. So hmm, I get the sense that somebody could be working on this. Page of Wands, Page of Swords. Only pages showing up though. Which are telling, you know, that tells me small details, small actions. Tell me about the death reverse. Why is death reverse? Five of Wands. Conflict, problems, Eight of Wands. I think that there's an obstacle here that's preventing someone from getting out of this Eight of Swords. I think they're looking into it. I think they're talking about it. Maybe they're trying to come up with a plan. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune after, and then the Nine of Wands. So maybe they need some sort of, I don't know, lucky break. Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Wands, movement forward. Definitely these two cards together. Fast movement forward. I feel like someone's almost like there's like a desperate energy. Like I need to get this address I need to I need to get this done and I feel like there's multiple people involved here with the five of wands or some sort of conflict maybe this is an internal conflict that someone's having but if it's not an internal conflict and there is third parties you know other people involved then of course take it as it resonates because I feel like this could even be a family situation multiple family members fighting or just unable to really work together, unable to make anything happen here. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Ten of Cups. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Ace of Wands. Okay. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse spirit? For cancer. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Eight of Wands. So Seven of Pentacles is here at the bottom of the deck. Again, I feel like this is someone's hope. Um, someone's desire is to have this Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands. You're right. That desperation that I was talking about like two minutes ago. Somebody feeling like they need to make a move, that they need to move forward. But I have the Seven of Pentacles, a card about waiting, a card about waiting for a result, worried about the result of something, trying to be patient, hoping that the work that you've done will have some sort of satisfactory result. That's the Seven of Pentacles. And then behind that, I have the Lovers again, Gemini Energy. So again, I feel like this is like um, Divine Counterparts, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine that showed up. The lovers is here. Um, soulmates possibly that want to be together, that um, worry about having a future together, unable to make a future happen, etc., etc. I think that someone has not been able to make a move or, yeah, page of cups, another page. <laughs> someone hasn't been able to make a move. And I feel like it's very frustrating for everyone involved. Um, if this is you, Cancer, then I feel like all you can do is baby steps, little things, um, little actions. If this is your person, flip it. But I feel like the, the pages are not enough for what's happening here. 
if this is a legal situation that someone's waiting on then yes it's going to be a delay because of course with everything that's going on right now the court systems are probably very backed up and so there's nothing you can do but wait but i feel like there's someone here that's almost like hoping that that's not you know going to be the case for much longer because again i, I get the sense that someone's a bit desperate here to do something um maybe something should have ended or could be ending soon but it just hasn't gotten there yet so what is this person's true intention actually before i do that let me get some secret moons spirits can we get some insight into what this person is thinking feeling when it comes to cancer what are they thinking feeling about cancer about this connection what do we need to know okay we have i miss you what do we need to know what do we need to know about this person's thoughts and energies i'm struggling okay this person is uh struggling without you it looks like they miss you i think you miss each other now i i have to say that i don't really see any cards here about how do i say this um well let's well how do i describe this I feel like from the energies that I see on the board, I'm getting very positive energy. Um, I don't see someone that's hiding or being secretive or anything like that. So this is for a cancer whose person is um, really struggling to be with you. You know, this is not somebody that is happy at home, lingering around, not really doing anything. Um, I feel like this is someone that wants to move but can't and you know in the meantime they're doing stuff or they're communicating in some way great fortune so that's the wheel of fortune family room is at the bottom of the deck which is a card about kind of um feeling very comfortable a confiding type of energy you know um an intimate type of energy so i think this is somebody that is hoping for a lucky break so let's go back here to what are their intentions True intentions, next possible actions for Cancer Spirit. What do we need to know about this person's true intentions, next possible actions? What do we need to know about this person's true intentions, possible actions towards Cancer? Let's see what we get, Cancer. Four of Cups reverse, the Moon reverse, Pisces energy, the Hierophant reverse. I want one more. Taurus energy, King of Pentacles reverse. So definitely I feel, yeah, Ten of Wands. Um, there is uh, a, definitely a third party. I think that that is something that if you don't know about that, then I don't think this is for you. I think you already know. The purse for the cancer that I'm reading for, you already know that this is a problem. Um, I think there is a, a commitment that is being broken and or is on its way to kind of be completed or ended or whatever and in the meantime your person cannot commit cannot deliver anything basically their hands are tied tell me about the king of pentacles reverse and the higher font reverse yep three of cups Four of Wands, Four of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. I, I sense you kind of wondering if anything's going to happen here. I think it is. The tower is at the bottom of the deck. So I think something's definitely crumbling somewhere. Tell me about the moon reverse. This is kind of what it makes. I, I really want to find out what this is. Why is the moon reverse? Why is the moon reverse? The Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Swords at the bottom. The Empress. The magician um okay so i i get the sense that something something big is going to happen that could be the tower right here the moon reverse someone is making this happen the magician look at all this yellow yellow is the color about clarity creativity intellect so i feel like someone's trying to figure something out very important here with the wheel of fortune the great what is this great fortune card here um, but I feel like this is like a strategic move that someone's hoping 
will be the end of everything. What's behind the magician? Yeah, the sun. This is how I get my empress. So the tower, the tower is, yeah, this is what someone's worried about. That this isn't, that this isn't going to happen quickly enough or that this might not pan out for them. But it looks like it will from, from what I'm seeing here with the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is an opportunity that can change things. Tell me about the moon reverse. Can I get one more for the moon reverse? Yep, King of Cups. Eight of Pentacles, someone really working hard on this. Again, I'm speaking to a Cancer whose person is actively making moves. This is not someone that has just is just sitting at home feeling bad about themselves. This is like the person that has filed the paperwork, right? This is the person that has um, left the home temporarily or has saved money to retain legal counsel. You know, this is somebody that has made active efforts. That's the only way this will happen. This is not somebody that's just made you promise this cancer, okay? I just want to be clear about that because I feel like sometimes there's confusion. Oh, they've told me that they're going to end things with their spouse. That's not enough for this type of energy, you know? Um, divorce, for example, does not happen just because you say it's going to happen, right? How does divorce happen? You have to file the paperwork right? You have to move out of your house or they move out of the house. You know, there are arrangements made, legal arrangements. That's the only way that a divorce can happen, right? So I want to be very clear that this is an active participant, right? They just haven't been able to do it completely. Tell me about the four of cups reverse. Three of wands, eight of pentacles. Once again, someone working hard, but having to wait exactly what I've been saying. Eight of, eight of Pentacles, Three of Wands. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. I feel like this is somebody that is dealing with some sort of burden at this time, trying to, you know, find their way around this problem, hoping for a lucky break. But in the meantime, they miss you. They're struggling the, with the fact that they cannot be with their partner. And it's because of a third party situation that I feel will be coming to an end because someone's work, effort and work has been rewarded or will be rewarded here with the Wheel of Fortune. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed this bonus reading. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.